So if you are dealing with a narcissist or you think you're dealing with a narcissist, I don't recommend going to marriage counsel with them. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I have narcissistic personality disorder. And the reason I don't recommend marriage counseling is because sometimes you go into the marriage counselor's office and the narcissist will just straight up lie. You'll be in there telling them the truth and you'll just be arguing with a third participant with a with a with a new, a new set of ears. Nothing will get accomplished. You'll just be it'd be an awkward, silent drive home or a very, very ragey narcissist on the way home. Why don't you just tell me that at home? We don't need a therapist to say that. Or they'll manipulate the therapist and then you have somebody on the, the narcissist will have the therapist on their side and you'll be feeling like Ugh. So me, myself, personally, I've been to marriage counseling and I told my therapist, I was like, hey, I'm diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. She's like, hmm, okay, and she just kept talking. So you need to find a therapist or a psychologist, marriage counselor, whatever, if you decide to go, that specializes in narcissistic personality disorder or other cluster B disorders because you need to have somebody prepared to know what they're dealing with. If you try marriage counseling, both parties need solo therapy as well. Hope this helps. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware, diagnosed narcissist Lee Hammock, and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims and survivors of this disorder as well. This series is dedicated to just making my TikToks and YouTube shorts longer. They are 60 seconds or less. It's going to be longer than 60 seconds. So the one you just watched was about marriage counseling with a narcissist or with a toxic person. Well, couples counseling. It doesn't have to be marriage counseling. You don't have to get that far. Couples counseling with a toxic person, with a narcissist. Do I recommend it? No. If you think you're dealing with a narcissist, the marriage counseling could be just a tremendous time waster. But I know people like to, I know some people need to, feel like they've exhausted all options before they move on. But marriage counseling or couples counseling with the narcissist is going to be a show. And typically it, it typically it does not end well. So I know I know I know the dying question people are gonna ask. Like what well, well Lee, did you go to marriage counseling, bruh? Did bruh, did you go to marriage counseling? Cause you say it, you said you 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 harping on it, but did you use it? Yes. I went to marriage counseling. <laughs> but I've also been in solo therapy myself for three and a half years before I went to marriage counseling. So I hope that it helps you understand how why marriage counseling was more effective for me and my uh, wife than it would be for somebody an, an undiagnosed or an unaware narcissistic, narcissistic person with no therapy. So I just don't recommend it because like you you go in there, you try to be open and honest and you're going to get a barrage of gaslighting, some lies, manipulation. You're going to get talked over. And a lot of times the narcissistic person, the toxic person will storm out and will not rip and will will just categorically refuse to go back to that counselor. And, they'll, and, and another thing, they'll have you hopping around from counselor to counselor, trying to find somebody that agrees with them. Trying to find somebody that just agrees with their side of the story and understands, like, this is why I treat, this is why I say this to them, because they don't listen. You you get it right. You get it. No, I don't get it. No, let's get out of here. Honey, let's go. Let's go right now. This this is a quack, 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 quack. Being there quacking like a duck at your uh, at your counselor. And you don't, you, you don't, you really seriously don't want that to happen. So in situations like that, you need to find, like I said, you have to find a, a, a middle ground with yourself. Marriage counseling with a narcissist typically does not work because you end up like you go there one they'll lie to the counselor just straight up your stories don't match up because they'll tell them they'll tell them a huge lie they'll, and they'll, they'll put on the front in front of the therapist to make them sound like they're a good person they'll, they'll, make, they'll put on like they're just like honey wh wow you i didn't know you felt that way wow well here's my side of the story doctor counselor therapist here's my side of the story I want to do my side of the story. I mean, take it forward, with it, take it forward, take it with a grain of salt because there's going to be some hurt and some pain in there because they cause me hurt and pain. And so a lot of sometimes they'll get the, they'll lie, manipulate the therapist, get the therapist on their side, and you and you you'll be made to seem like the enemy. You'll be made to seem like you're crazy. All the times that they've called you crazy and delusional will all feel like they're true. And you'll end up staying in there. Sometimes you'll end up staying in that relationship because you feel defeated. Wait, maybe I am crazy. Maybe I, maybe I need to work on myself. Whole time he didn't, he or she didn't gaslit the therapist, got them on their side, and now you like the enemy. Now you like the enemy. What are you gonna do? You 100% look like the enemy in that situation. You 100% look like the fool in that situation. You 100% look like a like uh, a gup. You know, and you don't. Like I'm telling you, you don't want that, y'all. Because if you get to that point right there. You're trying to go in there and you're arguing because marriage counselor is going to talk, turn to an argue, uh, argument. You just have a third party to your arguments now. You have a third party to you getting gaslit, and probably you getting yelled and screamed over a lot of times. If I say it's not, 
you're gonna go in there and come out, especially if y'all rode together, if y'all drove there together, you're gonna have either, you either gonna get the silent treatment on the way home or you're going to get a rage fest on the way home. One of those two. You're not gonna be like, that was a good session. Unless they, unless the narcissist feel like they won. If they feel like they won the session, because it's a, it's a competition, if the narcissist feels like they won that session, their couples counsel, whatever, they're gonna come up like, that was a great session, right? They said it was all your fault. <laughs> I've been telling you that for years though. So now you that, that, that yay. Somebody listens to me. Got you. And a lot of times you're going there you're gonna leave there feeling defeated. So if you have to one if you just like believe, I just have to exhaust all options. You need to find a marriage counselor that specializes in narcissistic personality disorder or cluster B personality disorders. And a lot of times those people are going to tell you to leave. They just are. Those people are going to tell you to leave. Those people, um, are going to tell you to leave. They're going to tell you to dip. Um, but maybe not in so many words. They might not just say, you need to leave. They're going to tell you in not so many words that you need to, you know, maybe separate. Maybe go your separate ways. Maybe this is not working for either of you. You know what I mean? Maybe this is this, this will go that way or the other way. So that's what you need to do. A lot of times, these people, you know, I mean? you get caught up talking to them. And like you, that's why I don't, my marriage counsel, let me tell you how my marriage counseling session went. My, the marriage counselor, she asked me, she's like, are either one of you, uh, either uh, either of you in a, are either of you, are, are either of you in therapy right now? And I was just like, yeah, I am. And she's like, what are you in therapy for? I was like, I've been in therapy for three plus years uh, and I've been uh, clinically diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. The therapist was like, hmm. Okay. And I was just like, wow. I said, hmm. Wow. And she just kept moving. Yeah, she she literally just kept it moving. You know what I mean? So she kept it moving, kept it. Get, she just talked talk, talk to my wife. I'm like, she has no idea. She has no idea that, that what narcissist personality disorder is. And she was a good counselor, y'all. She helped. And the only reason that, that session worked because those sessions work is because I am working on. I've already been working on myself for ten years and three years in therapy. So thirteen years total, I have been working on myself anyway. So I was able to listen to my wife, receive what she said, and we've been working on it since then. And I, I proved it. I told her, like, look, I'm gonna write a note to you every single morning from this day forward. I've wrote, like, it's, that's over a year and a half ago. That's May of 2020, June of 2020. So I've written over, what, 500 notes in the morning now? <laughs> it gets, yeah, it gets tough coming up with new stuff to say every morning. It just does. <laughs> it just does. I just needed, to, but I have to let her know that she's appreciated like that because I'm not the physical touchy, touchy feely type of person. You know what I mean? That's the only reason it worked because I was able to listen. If you are dealing with a person that, you, that does not listen to you, you feel like you don't have a voice, then it's not going to work that way, y'all. It's just not. You're going to go in that marriage, marriage counseling session, you might get the, the, the marriage counseling session, the couples counseling might be your closure. That might actually be your closure right there, the closure that you need to possibly move on and find somebody else. Um, literally. They might, they might need that closure right there to find, to be able to move on and to do other things with themselves. So I said, you have to stand in your truth and take back your power because if you don't, you know what else, you know what comes back for me. Yeah. And like I said, believe your marriage works. Look, y'all, I'm going to, look, I'm going to be in therapy for the rest of my life and I'm fine with that. Marriage counseling, we might go here and there just to kind of touch, you know, just touch, just touch and go. Anyway, because we, do we need work here and there? Yeah, we still need work, but is your person if, if like the only way it works is if the narcissistic toxic person is in therapy solo you the survivor victim whatever you in therapy solo uh you the survivor victim or in therapy solo and then y'all come together in marriage counseling because it doesn't work it doesn't work the sep you can't work on the unit without working on the pieces separately you know what i mean you have to take the you have to take the unit apart piece by piece like i'm holding a ring like this broke y'all you have to take the unit apart piece by piece like this, right? Work on them and bring them together in marriage counseling. It doesn't work any other way. Ooh, that's cool. I'm gonna hold it like this. This cool, good job. The rest of the video, it's good lighting. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how it goes right there. So it doesn't. Marriage counseling, toxic. I mean, to counsel with a toxic person does not work unless you work on it. You have to work on yourselves, and they have to be open to hearing it. Check out uh, raw motivations on YouTube or TikTok. Ben Taylor three hundred on TikTok. Uh, raw motivations on Instagram and TikTok and stuff. I'm gonna tag him below, but check out his channel. He's in marriage counseling with a he's a, he's a nar he's a diagnosed narcissist, self aware narcissist. He's in marriage counseling with his with his wife, and they had, their story is gonna be different from our story. But like, check his out. It only works because he is working on himself. He has solo therapy. His wife has solo therapy, and they both are going to marriage counseling. That's the only way. The only way it works, y'all.
It's the only way it works. And like I said, you want to exhaust all options, you that's that's it right there. Go to marriage counseling, couples counseling, get your closure, and a lot of times you're gonna get your feelings hurt. You're gonna be angry and you're gonna be upset. Cause I saw somebody uh I saw somebody the other day uh, in my comment section to this TikTok. They was like, well, I went, I've been in marriage counseling for five years and it didn't work. I was like, five years? What? They're like, yeah, I'm a glutton. I'm a glutton for punishment. It's just like we five years of arguing, having a third party to our arguments, which sounds exactly right. So, yeah. So, in my situation, if I was a devious, just, you know, down low, dirty narcissist, I could have manipulated my therapist and got, got her on my side because she didn't know. She had no idea what narcissist personality disorder was or how it affected people. And I could just, you know, I could have just made everything up. But I just said in there, told the truth because I wanted it to work. The truth worked. The truth will set you free. Sometimes dealing with a narcissist will set you free too. <laughs> so find your power, stand in your truth. Like I said, marriage counseling, exhaust that option if you have to. Because if you don't, uh, I'm just telling you, I know, I know how it goes, y'all. If you, if anybody has had some successful marriage counsel with a narcissist, put it in the comment section and, and detail how that went. I'll pin it. I'll pin the comment to the top. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Really, truly appreciate every single one of y'all. Mental illness is out. Peace.